Welcome to MES e-learning channel. The another aspect which we are going to learn about derivatives trading is regarding options. So whenever we are talking about derivative trading, there are different kind of instruments available for trading. In the previous video, we have seen about futures. Now in this video, we are going to learn about the options. So what are the basic option terminologies which we are supposed to take into consideration while trading are we going to consider and cover up in this particular video. Option contracts are also a powerful financial uh, derivative instruments which the allows the traders to make profits out of your entire trading aspect and also manage risk in different variations. So it gives a particular benefit and additional advantage as compared to your future contracts to the uh, traders by making different variations in your contract obligations. Basically, option contracts are the contracts which help us to the holders of the instrument, instrument that is either the buyer or the seller also related to have an additional advantage by either to execute the contract or not on a future date. It is same to your forward con oh sorry, future contract in which we are deciding the price in advance trading on a future date but the obligation of executing the contract is being different as compared to your forward contract. Forward contract and future contract, both the contracts has to be executed on a future date, whichever is being specified in the contract. But in case of option contract, there is an additional benefit available to the option traders that they will be allowed either to execute or not to execute the contract on a future date depending upon the market price movements which are available. So let's see how does this contracts help us to minimize our losses and maximize our gains through trading. What are options? So these are also a kind of contracts which are being uh, obligated between the holder as well as the buyer of the instrument but the right is given that they are not obliged to execute the contract on a future date. So that's the difference between your option contract as well as future contracts. So the same price are been predetermined and the uh, value of the contract is also predetermined, the underlying assets are also decided in advance but the contract is executed on a future date but the obligation is not a compulsion one to execute the contract on a future date. The second thing is that these contracts are much more flexible. The contracts can be expired or executed before the maturity date or after the maturity date also. Any time as and when the need is arises, the contract holder or the option holder can execute the contract as per their benefits. Third one is these contracts helps us to hedge against the downside of the risk which has been prevailing in the market. So if you are feeling that the market is going to still further go into a downside and you will not be able to survive till the future date whatever is being specified in the contract, you can execute the contract prior to the maturity date. So that's what is called in your uh, option contract an additional benefit which is available of managing the risk in advance before the future date. What are the key terminologies which we need to take into consideration when we are talking about option contracts? So firstly we need to understand about there are two types of option contracts. One is call option and one is put option. And the most important another third aspect is related to strike price. Whenever we were talking about the future contracts, we were talking about the future price. The price which we are deciding in advance but we are going to make payment in the future date. In option contract, the most important element is related to your strike price. The strike price is the price at which the contract is going to be exercised. Okay, It is similar to your future price but the price is determined and termed as your strike price. The price at which you are going to exercise that particular option that is called as your strike price. And another two aspects which we need to understand in these option contracts is related to call option as well as put options. Call options are related to purchase of your any underlying asset and put options is related to sales of your particular un underlying assets of the particular option contract which has been executed. So one is for buy buying and one is for selling. So call option is related to purchase and uh, sale or uh, put option is related to sales. But the positions can be taken up depending upon the market uh, availability and the price movements which are prevailing in the market. See, in both the contracts, there are always involved in two parties. One is buyer as well as is seller. 
in call option also there will be buyer as well as seller and in put option also there will be a buyer or seller so contracts can be executed or positions can be taken by any of the parties over here so it is not predetermined that call option is related to buy and put option is related to sell because any of the parties can be execute this particular contracts the another aspect which we need to understand is related to types of options there are two different types of categories of option execution basically so one is on the basis of time period of the expiry of the contract so there are two kind of uh, options under which these are been traded one is american option and the another one is european option these two contracts and the uh, have the expiry period on the basis of time american option can be exercised any time before the maturity date or the expiry date which has been specified in the contract whereas european options can be exercised only after the expiry date so before expiry date you cannot execute in these particular option contracts in india basically we uh, trade with european options only another types of two options are on the basis of nature of the contract as we told it is either a buying or a selling contract okay so uh, these two contracts is called as your on the basis of nature and that comes under your call and put options so call option provides the right to buyer uh, to have the underlying asset either to buy or sell and in the case of put option the right is given to the seller to either buy or sell the underlying asset now under man options we need to understand the moneyness of the option the concept of moneyness of the options is the most important factor after understanding what are the different types of options what is strike price and all these different elements the most another important is your moneyness of the option moneyness of the option helps you to determine that at what point of time you will execute the option contract okay so moneyness of the option is been determined upon the intrinsic value of your option contract okay it is also termed as your iv value now if your intrinsic value and your strike price the price at which you have determined the contract are different on the basis of the difference the contract has been executed either it will be at a higher end or it will be lower end as we all know price movements in the markets either go on the upper side or on the lower side so at that point of time at what point of time the contracts has to be executed so that we will be able to maximize our profit that is termed as your moneyness of options now in case of moneyness of option the first one is regarding in the money in the money is uh, termed when the strike price is more than your current market price so the price at which you want to execute is higher as compared to your current prevailing market price then you will get profits out of these particular contracts so that is called as your in the money that is also called as itm at the money is the another aspect called as your break even point over here there is no profit no loss scenarios the contract price or the uh, strike price as the market price both are same okay so at that moment that is called as your at the money execution that is also termed as atm and the third one is related to out the money that is otm this uh, will work when the option price strike price is more than your current uh, sorry less than your current market price so this is happens when we execute a particular contract and the option the strike price which we have determined is lesser as compared to the market price which is prevailing for that particular asset so in that case you will be having otm positions okay that is called as your negative position so one is favorable one is negative and one is balanced one that is called as a no profit no loss scenario break even point so these are the three uh, aspects at which we need to understand and this will help us to decide that at what point of time the option contract has to be executed so option contracts are always advisable to be executed in the position of itm okay if the option contract is in the uh, the value is coming as your itm value then only you should execute the option contract now we need to de determine the uh, option premium aspect so what is this option premium aspect now here when we are talking about option contracts it is always saying that there is no obligation of making the payment or executing the contract on a future date whatever is decided in the contract but in this case one of the important aspect is like that whenever you are entering into a contract you need to pay a particular value to that particular contract to get it executed so that value is called as your option premium value for utilizing that particular asset for certain time frame you need to pay a value that value is termed as your option premium now how this option premium value is been calculated basically 
or what are the factors which are being considered when we are determining this actual uh, premium value for uh, utilizing the underlying assets which are being specified in our option contract. So the first one is related to time to expiry. When your contract is going to expire, that is the important aspect we need to understand. So the longer the time frame of expiry, the more the option premium value will be there. So this is how the pri uh, price of the values is being determined. The longer the period, the utility of the asset is going to be taken into consideration. The amount to be paid by the utilizer or by the option holder will be higher one. The second one is volatility. The price fluctuation of that particular assets or which has been underlying asset which has been taken into consideration in your option contract is more volatile. At that point of time also the premium value will be higher to you. If the, there are substitutes available for your underlying asset, then always there will be less volatility for your uh, asset prices. At the same time, the premium value also will fall. So depending upon the factors of volatility also and the demand and supply of your underlying asset, the prices of that particular asset is going to uh, move in the upward or downward direction. And depending upon that, your uh, option premium amount will also vary. Another important factor is related to interest rate. Prevailing interest rate in the market will also determine your option premium value affection. Higher the interest rate, higher will be the option premium amount which we need to pay. So this is another important factor and this is also an uncontrollable factor which has been determined depending upon the market forces. And the fourth one is underlying asset price. As we have said that the prices of a particular asset, if they are more volatile, your premium value is going to exceed. So same way here also the underlying asset values will be also affecting your overall value of your option premium. So if your underlying assets are more influenced by the uh, market changes or fluctuations, your premium value is also going to get affected. So these are the four factors which we need to consider whenever we are entering into option contract. Like future contracts, we have to pay a minimum margin for trading in that uh, future contracts. So here option premium is the minimum amount which we are liable to pay to the instrument holders from whom you are taking up the assets. So this is an important aspect which we need to understand. Option payoffs and strategies. So same way the options are also traded like your future contracts. Here also the options are being uh, traded with these three different positions. One is call, uh, long call, long put and one is short call. So these are the three different option payoffs which are being generally utilized whenever we are going for option trading. So long call is when we are, can take positions in the market for a longer period of time. This is related to buy. Okay. Profits will be uh, made when the underlying asset prices are going to increase. Whereas long put, the profits will be made when the underlying asset prices are going to fall. So this is related to sales. Whereas short call is the positions where profits can be made when the underlying asset prices are going to have stay flat or are going to decline. Okay, So at that moment only you will be able to make profits and make positions in the option market. So these are the three option strategies basically utilized to maximize the profits uh, in the option trading. Now what is the main difference between options and futures and forward contracts? Now options are basically we all know that they are an obligation, they don't have an obligation to execute the contract. Whenever the option trader or uh, option holder feels that they are able to execute the contract and they are willing to execute the contract, at that moment they can execute it or they before that they can back out also. But in case of forward and future contract, it is not like that. You have to oblige with the terms and conditions which are being specified in the option trading or oh, sorry future contracts as well as your for forward contract. So obligation is not there in case of option contracts. This is the first important feature which we need to understand. Second one is expiry date. Options have a predetermined expiry date as like your futures and forward contracts but are at open-ended contracts. These contracts can be also uh, executed before maturity date. So that is an additional feature available in case of option contracts. Whereas the risk which is involved in option trading is very much at a different aspect, different levels. This option limits the downside risk whenever the market is falling at a higher rate or is decline, having a consistent decline in their prices. At that moment, option contracts always gives you a surplus uh, edge of having 
minimum amount of losses. Okay. So that is all. So this is and hope you understood about the concepts.